Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today we're taking a look at the new Autel Smart Controller. This thing is huge. <laughs> the screen by itself is larger than the entire DJI Smart Controller. So this thing is not petite by any standard at all. But I want to go over it and show you what it's all about because this is actually a very, very cool unit. Now, first off, I do have this snap-on back plate here, and what it does, it just gives you a little bit more hand grip in the back, which I think is really nice. Gives it a really, really nice feel. Uh, the screen on here is 7.9 inches. So, like I said, really big screen. It's very, very easy to see outside. Now, I think they've also have some kind of anti-glare coating on here. I'm not sure, but when I take this outside, I can have direct overhead Colorado bright sunlight right on the screen, and you can see this thing perfectly. So it works absolutely great. The joysticks on here, they're, they're fairly short, but they work really well. They got a nice rubber grip on the sides, and a nice kind of tactical top to them so your thumbs aren't going to slip off if you're using it that way. Now, the, kind of the interesting thing about these joysticks, well, first off, they do unscrew, so you can take them off, and you can actually store them in the handle. There's two holes, one on either side here, that they screw into. Uh, the threads on here are actually exactly the same as the DJI FPV controller. Little coincidence there. But if you want longer sticks, you can find extended ones and adjustable ones for the DJI FPV controller, and they're gonna screw right into here. So that's super cool. Now, on the front, we have our return to home button, and we have our task pause button, very similar to the regular Autel controller. It does run the Autel Explorer app, and uh, there is no Google Play Store in here, so you're not going to be able to load it up with other applications. Now, on the two corners here, we have our standard gimbal tilt and our other control for navigating menus, things like that. We have our programmable C1 and C2 on the top, the power button up here, and under this cover, which is very well secured, actually. We have USB-A, USB-C, and HDMI output. So, love that. You don't need to get a separate live deck to get HDMI output. You can do it right from here. Now, the other thing I think is really cool is it has a quarter 20 on the bottom. So, if you're doing a mapping mission or something and you don't want to sit there holding it, you can just drop this on any standard tripod and it's going to hold it nice. And then also on the kind of behind those wheels, you have your video record and your still shutter button. And that's pretty much it for the controls on here because everything else is done through the app. Now, let's get to some of the specs here. Like I said, it's a 7.9 inch display. So it's a 2000 nit brightness, so very, very bright outside. And it's claimed to run for four and a half hours. So you're gonna get some really long flights out of this thing or a big day of flying. And you can also just plug in a USB-C with a power bank and keep this thing charged up. It has 128 gigs of internal memory and an eight core Samsung Exynos 8895 eight core processor. <laughs> so uh, basically what that means is if you wanna watch your footage back and you've got it at 4K in H.265, which will bog down almost any type of you know Android device like this, those videos are gonna play perfectly on here. So the controller does use the latest Autel technology to get you about eight miles of range with this thing. So that's just freaking crazy. Really incredible range. 
and that's with a 1080p downlink. So good, high quality, and being able to take that HDMI out. Now, the other thing that's kind of cool about these is these antennas are removable, and they're just standard SMA connectors in there. So if you want to replace these with patch antennas or helical antennas or something else that might give you even a better signal, you absolutely could. But you just unscrew these, plug new ones on. If you break them, unscrew it, plug a new one in. Really simple. Now this is pricey. It's not a cheap unit. It's not going to be for your typical hobbyist. This is definitely going to be for your working professional who wants a high quality, very bright display with long, long operating time. So for that, this thing is excellent. Got to admit, really great. Now, what's it like to actually use it? Well, as I said, the screen is very, very bright, easily to be able to see outside, not a problem at all. But these joysticks, these things really stand out. They're super, super smooth. And there is kind of a rubber, um, I guess, dust sleeve down inside. So that offers a little bit of resistance when you're using them, giving you the ability to do super smooth like orbit shots, which are pretty difficult to do with the standard remote control. They just don't have quite the same feel. But these joysticks feel great. They work really, really well, allowing you to have much smoother shots than you are able to do with the regular remote. So overall impressions, is this thing, absolutely a good purchase. The next month, Autel will be doing kind of a internal refresh of the Autel product line with a new chipset to get around the chip shortage that is going on globally. Well, that means that the V1 controller will not work with the V2 aircraft and vice versa. So if you have existing V1 aircraft, you need a V1 controller. If you're going to get V2 aircraft, you want to make sure you get a V2 controller. Unfortunately, they're not cross compatible. Unfortunate, but that's kind of the way things go in technology these days. But again, you're looking for a great professional, high end, very bright, excellent, very great feeling remote control for your Evo 2 products. The Autel Smart Controller is the way to go. So thanks for watching. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. We do have these available right now. If you'd like to pick one up, just go on our website at multicopterwarehouse.com or give us a call at 303-552-2300 and one of our support team will help you out. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.